up guys? So I forgot my water bottle, grabbing real quick. Today, I'm going golfing. So, let's begin the video. So I just got home from golf. Uh, I would have showed you me playing a little bit, but I suck really bad. And you don't want to see it. It's not pretty. Um, it was a fun time though. Uh, very hot. It's about 90 degrees out. The sun was blazing down on us. Uh, after we got some Chick-fil-A. So I had a 24 count of grilled nuggets, a large fry, some Chick-fil-A sauce, and uh, the diet lemonade, so it has like no sugar or I think it's like Splenda or whatever. But, um, so I kind of have to watch the rest of my fat and take for the rest of the day. It's kind of high in fat. But it was like my only meal because I only had one, I had a banana before, or during golf. I took a banana with, and that's all I had to eat. So yeah, that was my like first big meal today. I'll probably eat one more big meal tonight, later on. Uh, right now I'm about to go help my mom and uh, brothers out in the yard. We're gonna do some yard work, pull some weeds, and just kind of clean up the yard a little bit. So I'll catch up with you guys after that. So we just finished up some yard work. I'm having a banana now, getting some carbs, potassium in. I'm gonna go inside now and uh, get some water, maybe a Greek yogurt or something, bite. I'm gonna go work out soon, back in biceps. So yeah, well, it's really hot out here today. Humid, sweat as a ton, so hopefully I'll lose a pound or something today. Mm -hmm. I probably won't do any cardio because of that. It's been sweating a ton all day. Good golf and working outside. And... But yeah, it's a good day so far. Nice and productive. And enjoying the weather, even though it's kind of hot. But I'll see you guys at the gym. But before I go to the gym, I'm going to have some oatmeal. It's apples and cinnamon flavor. It has about 27 grams of carbs, one half fat. Some good complex carbs fill me up so I have some energy for my workout, and then we'll crush back and buy it. Actually, need these five salt and crackers as well. It's gonna have another 11 grams of carbs. I just pull up to the gym, sitting in the parking lot. And I'm not going to lie to you, I really do not want to work out today. I It took everything I could to get here. I just had a long day. I had golfed and I did three, four hours of yard work. And I'm just I'm super tired and just kind of want to lay around and watch a movie with the family after this. Because it's uh, a family night tonight where my family just kind of hangs out together. And so I'm looking forward to that afterwards. But right now I just I need to get this done. And I'm just glad that I actually came. But I want to let you guys know, let you guys know that like I am struggling too some days, like to get to the gym, and it's not pretty every day. And like I don't, I'm not pumped to go every single day. There's gonna be certain days. I mean, I love fitness, and I still have days like this. Fitness is my life. Like if I don't go, I usually have a terrible day. But it just shows you like you can love something, and it still be, it can still be hard to do it. So I'm gonna go crush this workout crush back and biceps and I'll see you after. I'm probably not gonna vlog this one because the gym's pretty packed and I kinda just wanna focus and I'm by myself today and so I'm gonna kinda just have like a little therapy session, I guess. So like I said, it was a good workout. And I'm happy I came. So whenever you guys feel like you don't wanna go or you, you just feel like you're too tired to go, go. You always have a great workout usually. And, at least in my case you do. So push through those hard days and just go when you don't feel like it. Cause it always pays off in the end. So now I'm gonna go home. I think I'm gonna have some salmon tonight. Salmon or tilapia, I don't know. Also, since I didn't vlog my workout, I figured I would post what I did right here. And so you guys can screenshot, take a picture, whatever, and uh, try it out. It's a back and bicep workout. Pretty much four exercises are back and then two exercises for biceps. It was kind of a quicker workout, but I superset it everything, and it was really intense. So try it out, and let me know how it goes. First exercise I did was a wide grip lat pull down, and I superset that with a seated cable row. 
Uh, I did four sets of this and I did about 10 to 12 reps of each exercise. So I superset it back to back. If you don't know what a superset is, it's when you do one exercise and then no rest and you go right into the next exercise. And so I did that for four sets, 12 reps each. The next superset I did was, uh, I got an incline bench and I put it like at a 45 degree angle and I grabbed like 45 pound dumbbells and I did uh, rows just laying on my stomach. So I rode it towards my hips using my elbows when I pull it back. Uh, this, the second exercise I superset that with was a rope, a, a standing straight arm lat pull down with a rope which is basically where you hold the rope and you have your arms locked out almost and then you just drag them to your sides. It really pops out your lats. So that was for back. The two bicep exercises I did was uh, preacher curl, kind of a close grip preacher curl. Uh, I did like 10 to 12 reps on that as heavy as possible. Uh, and then I superset of that with a drag curl where you hold it real wide and you drag the bar up your stomach. It really helps peak out your bicep. So maybe hopefully next time I can show these exercises in actual video so you guys know what I'm talking about. But so I superseted those and I did about four sets of uh, what's it called 15, 12 or 15 for those drag curls. And that was pretty much the workout. It was pretty simple, pretty quick. I was in and out in about 45 minutes and it was a good pump and I, I felt really good lat engagement, bicep engagement, felt my back working out. So it was a real good, real good workout and uh, you guys should really try it out. So again, make sure you screenshot it and give it a try. And comment down below and let me know how you liked it. One thing I do want to mention is, so like in my workout when I was doing uh, the preacher curls, I was starting off with like 60 pounds, a 60 pound dumb, uh, barbell. So I did want to mention one more thing uh, about the workout. So like I was doing uh, the preacher curls with 60 pounds. And I was doing about two or three sets and I realized like, hey, I'm not, I'm not getting the full effect of this exercise. Uh, so I decided to drop my weight down to 40 pounds so I could really get a good stretch, really come up and get a good contraction of the bicep and just really get the full effect of the exercise. There's no point of just using all momentum and just, just to look cool and let your ego take over. I mean, so I guess the main point I'm trying to get across is that don't let your ego get, get a hold of you and like if you can't lift a certain weight the right way, drop it a few pounds, drop it a few plates, whatever, and just lift it right. I mean, you'll you'll benefit much more if you drop the weight and do it the right way than if you let your ego get a hold of you and try to lift all this heavy weight. So good, good form, lightweight, if you have to, and just work your way up as you get stronger and actually use good form. All right guys, so I just got home and I have, for my mom, got my salmon ready, thawed out. Asparagus, and before that, I'm gonna have six pieces of this. That's gonna be my meal for tonight. I'll let you guys know the macros after I cook it all up. Okay, since I suck at cooking, my mom's helping me out, and she has a secret way of cooking sand. Low calorie. Simmering in lemon juice. Sprinkle a little lemon garlic salt on it, and let them simmer. Boom. Okay, so my dinner's all done. And it's gonna be 96 protein, or about 95 protein, 16 fat, and 10 carbs. So that's gonna wrap up this vlog for today. And now we're gonna have a family night where we kinda of just hang out with each other, and watch a movie, play games, and just kinda of have a one night dedicated to like spending time with each other since we're all so busy. So I'll see you guys next video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below.